roast you. Fishman, I'm just going to be doing a sauce on the side this evening. All right, guys, here we go. Mm -hmm. Just chopping up, well, chopping, mincing this onion. Yeah, uh, some of my kids, they don't like onions at all, so I am trying to get it as small as possible. Of course, it's small. Yeah. Once we get this onion all minced up, we'll join it over here with the rest of the um, green onions. Here we have all the garlic, and we're going to do the same thing with the garlic, and the same thing with the pepper. Also, the same thing with the bell pepper. Yep. Just mince it all together. I like to saute saute all my vegetable seasonings separately. That way, I have different flavors coming out. And of course, I start with the one, and I want it to be more evident. So, usually I start with my green onions over here, because it got this nice flavor, this nice, nice aroma that I love. And it just makes it feel like country again. Makes it feel like I'm back in Portland where I grew up, and my grandmother or my mother would have been cooking some nice country food, as we call it, back home in Jamaica. Country just means rural. But yeah, this is what it's all about, guys. All about my Jamaican cooking. All right, so I think my onions are nice and minced. And I'll go on to the garlic right here, and then I'll do the peppers and the bell pepper. Alright guys, here we have it. So we got our bell peppers there. I decided to dice the bell peppers instead. And here we have our onions, garlic, pepper, and the green onions or scallions or spring spring onions right here. Um, the spring onions are basically just kind of done run style. You know, just kind of cut as or chopped as small as possible. I still want invisible because it also has a good garnish as well. But um, I started my rice here. The rice is pretty much steaming. There we go. Looking beautiful. Looking so beautiful right now. This rice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Almost done. I think it's pretty much done to be honest with you. Pretty much. But let's let it steam a little longer. Just a little. Oh yeah, when you hear the pot cover roll, it means something going on. Okay guys, so here we have our hot oil, and we're going to be frying our fish. We're going to try to get as much of the impurities off as possible, because of course this will burn. So we don't want it to burn while frying. But at the same time, the oil must be hot enough to get to get our fish fried properly, right? And to avoid it from sticking to the pan itself. Alright, so we're going to fry this fish. Oh my god, can I tell you guys how much my daughter loves fish? She loves fish so much. Uh, or as they would say in Jamaica, so her own. <laughs> but it is fish. I mean, you know, logically speaking, it's fish. Um... Yeah, so let me let you guys see. Oh, I'll put the first one in. See that? There we go. Just lay it down. And you don't move it. It will release itself. It will definitely release itself. I like to lay them like this. You know, not all in the same direction. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm Jamaican. <laughs> but whatever it is, this is how I like to do it. Alright, so here we go. There we go. And I'll fry them three at a time. Oh, yeah, fine. So I'm going to be doing one piece per person. Of course, my four year old, she probably won't eat a wolf meat. She got some monster in there. I'll go see her. See you later. Okay, guys, welcome back. So I fried my fish. I like putting a little bit of onions under, like raw sliced onions, just to kind of savor it, make sure that it remains, you know, smelling nice. Season can never be too much, you know? And, um, my rice right here. Now, we're gonna move on to our sauce. I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. So, I'm going to start my sauce, and I wanted to show you this. So, I use canola oil. And again, this is a great value brand. Um, I have not had any problems with it so far. Canola is a great oil to use. I'm going to be putting in my green onions first. My oil is well hot. And I want the green onions right here to go in and flavor my pot. I'm not going to be using all of it at once, I'm getting a little bit of pepper with it. Yeah, just a little bit. I don't want it burning. Oh my god, guys, you should taste, you should smell this. This is so, so, so great. I'm going to be using a little bit of the onions and garlic. Just start going in together. Yes, just a little bit. Just saute that. That's it. Yeah. A little more of that onion. You should smell this right now. It smells so amazing. Oh my god. Let's get a little bit of that pepper. Ooh, no. I like just kind of making it the rest of it kind of just, you know, all be together. It, it, it's gonna provide the greatest flavor, guys. Trust me. The greatest flavor. And I've covered that up until my until my sauce is almost done. I'll put that in. Better save some. Alright, looking good so far. There we go. Alright guys, here we go. Yes, this is exactly how you want it to look, where the onions have become slightly translucent. Um, they have been going a little while now, and you just want to take its time and flavor the oil, because that is going to be your base. This is going to be the base of your fish sauce. And then I want to go in with my sherry wine. Sherry is amazing, alright? When it comes down to fish, it's going to taste so great. Alright, so I'm going with a little bit of sherry wine, maybe about a tablespoon. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Oh my god, guys, it smells so good. Of course, I'm going to be using some Creole seasoning. Take about a little bit over a teaspoon. So about a teaspoon and a half or a quarter, they're about... And that's just to add even more flavor to this dish. You want the sauce to be nice, tiny, a little bit of sweetness, of course. Of course, I'm going to go in with my oyster sauce. That's like oyster sauce, guys. I'm using about, say, two teaspoons of oyster sauce in there. I'm very sure for that. Maybe it's about three teaspoons. Oh my god, it's not so good. So, what I like to do with my meals, my Jamaican meals, is add a little bit of Asian style sweet as well. So, you know, it's a chop all my vegetable seasoning together and I saute that first. That, that's pretty much the base of most of my cooking. I find that it's healthier. I eat to make it healthy, not to make it sick. So, I like, I really, really like using my vegetable seasoning as a base. Alright, here we go. Now, I'm going to go in with my tomato ketchup. 
And first, I'm just using combination with the tea. I'm getting that all together. This is how I like to start it. Yeah. I'm not done that. I'm having quite a bit of traffic here, but don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm not done that. I like to do it with a little bit of time. About two teaspoons of time. Time is great. Trust me. Time has to do with everything. Every single thing. I'm going to turn it on the fire. There we go. I'm not done that. I'm going to go in, of course, with the Thai style sauce. I'm adding probably about, say, a tablespoon of after that. The Thai sauce, what I find is that it has a nice sweet accent to it, and also it's spicy. It has a little bit of heat, so I love that. I actually really love that. And then this. This is what we're going to be using as a little bit of water base. This is going to be uh, basically that seasoning that we had the fish in. That's basically the residue of it. And we've added a little bit of water, and we are going to go ahead and put that in. Of course, I've added a little more water because you need water in everything. And that's pretty much going to be creating that base of a sauce. Just going to make that sauce really nice. Turn up the heat a bit. Oh my god, guys, this is great. This is good. I'm gonna be using paprika. Again, I use a great body brand a lot. No problems with it thus far. I'm using probably about three teaspoons of paprika. There we go. Oh my god, guys, I wish you could taste this. I'm gonna be adding just a shake. So I'm gonna be adding probably about two more teaspoons of this Creole seasoning. Or probably a teaspoon and a half. Yeah. Of course, we need a little more ketchup. So we're going to be going in, adding about another tablespoon of ketchup to that. This is nice season, excellent. Um, I find that it has a little bit of authenticity to the flavors. Um, this one is 60% less sodium, so total is like 60 mg. It has a nice, it adds a nice flame to your dish. So I like to go in maybe about with like a teaspoon in some of my dishes. Depends on the amount, of course, but in this, I'm going to be doing about a teaspoon. There we go. Yeah. And in Jamaica, we say gravy. I'm calling it sauce, but this is pretty much my gravy. And it's going to pick you know, as we proceed. I'm going to be adding just a little bit more water. There we go. And I'm just adding just about that. It's about a quarter. And that's a quarter cup. Is what I mean. Just say. I'm going to cover that up and let it, <clears throat> let it simmer a little bit. All right, guys, here we go. It's been simmering a bit. I'm going to go in again with another tablespoon of the thai style sauce right here. Yes, like that. Oh, this one. It's great stuff, guys. It's really good. And then what I'm going to be doing is adding the rest of my vegetable seasonings. Yeah. So one of the most important things about frying fish is adding a little bit of garlic or scotch bonnet pepper or pimento in that oil as it fries in the first part, just to flavor the oil a little bit. So that brown stuff that used to be inside the bell peppers is actually the garlic that I use. So I chopped it up and it's going to provide this great accent of a garlic, roasted garlic flavor to my dish. And that's all though, guys. And then I'm gonna go in with my sherry. Okay, guys, here we go. This is the final product, steamed white rice with stirred fried vegetables. And for this stir fried vegetable, it's quite easy. I'll have another video that shows you exactly how to do it. I don't like to overcook it, but what we got here is some bok choy or what we call pak choy and um, corn and the fish here. There goes the fried fish with the sauce. So delicious, guys. This is my wife's dinner. Yep. Wish you guys could taste it. But see you guys next time. Take it easy.